Hello, hello. It's Tuesday. We're live. <laughs> We're going to do a live haul today. I, I feel a little out of sorts. And it, it didn't help that um, just before I went on, I actually cut my finger. <laughs> it wasn't bad, but it's one of those... I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I did it. I don't know what I did it on. I have a suspicion that it was on some plastic, but anyway, hello, welcome to my channel. I am Martha Vintage Conversation, and I am glad to have you join me today. Whether you join me for this live haul or you're viewing this afterwards, I appreciate you doing so and that you're here and that you're a part of our family. I hope you will take the time to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be here the next time we go live or the next time we put out a video. Now, the purpose of this live haul <laughs> was so that I did not have to do a bunch of video editing. Hi, Christine. I'm surprised you've got time, girl. You gotta be getting ready. Hello, Debbie. I am assuming that you've got all your stuff lined up, Christine, and you are all ready to go. Yes, Debbie, I think that, in fact, I think that's a pretty fast notification because I've been on for less than two minutes, so YouTube is on the ball today. <laughs> Yes, multitasking is the name of the game. So, as I was saying, I'm, I'm doing the live haul so I didn't have to do any video editing. And also that um, I'm, I'm a little, you know, not completely with it. I, I cut my finger just before I went on. I, I'm like, what is this? What did I get on me? And I realized, oh, I cut my finger. It's not bad, but... I have to be careful because I don't want to do it again. I'm not exactly sure what I cut it on. But anyway, we are going to uh, just jump right into it because I know there are some important things coming on here in uh, just a little bit of time. And I want to be able to go and do that myself as well as have everybody else go and do that too. So I went to my daughter's this weekend down in South Texas it was my grandson's first communion, so that was very enjoyable and uh, very memorable. And since they live, you know, two or three hours away, I don't get to see them as much as I would like to. But today is my grandson's last day of school, homeschooling. He was passing his test today, so hopefully I'll get to see him a little bit more over the summer. Anyway, we went to this one antique mall that we really did more visiting together than we did thrifting so Emily found one thing and frankly it was kind of a uh, thank you I appreciate that yes I'm very proud of him it was kind of a, a fight to find something that I both liked in case it didn't sell and thought might have a chance of selling or had a appropriate value but anyway it was a um, vintage set of salt and pepper shakers, the rooster and hen. They are Japan, and they are in really good condition considering there is a lot of cold paint on these guys. They are, I mean, it's just, it's just almost non-existent wear there. So I was very happy with these, but that's all I got there. That's all I was able to find. But you know, I wasn't there to, excuse me, I wasn't there to do a bunch of thrifting. It was more like, um, she likes, my daughter likes to go there and look around, and so she wanted to show it to me, you know, and, and see what I thought of it. And there were some lovely things there. They were just, they, there was no room for me. So, so yesterday I went around to my local thrift store and a couple of Goodwills and picked up a couple of things. Now, at my little local thrift store, I picked this up for Christmas in July or Christmas in December, whichever works. It's not like some big 
vintagey thing, but it is something that I thought I could sell on my eBay, in my eBay store um, from Kirkland's. It is the wine holder with a snowflake um, bottle stopper. So I thought it was very precious and would work well in holiday decor if you like to have wine. So I got that there and I picked up this glass two-piece egg for next Easter. Yeah, I don't mind storing stuff. Sorry about the noise. I will store it. Now, I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure about this, that it was a Hershey's Kiss giveaway because, I don't know if you're going to be able to make it out, there's a little emblem right there that looks just like a Hershey's Kiss, including the, uh, the little hang tag. And yes, I thought some lights in here would be very pretty. It's hard to see them in the bright light, but yeah, you know, some uh, fairy lights in it, a uh, electric candle, that sort of stuff, or more candy would work as well. So anyway, even though it was clear, I thought it would be lovely because you can put the colored lights in it or the candy. And it's egg shaped so i liked it and i picked it up now let's see what else did i get from there i know i got something else from there what else did i get from there one two did i get from that from there no i did not darn it wait this one y'all know i'm irish y'all know i'm an o'brien hi lorraine thank you for joining we're just doing a live haul today yeah, I, I have a live sale coming up on Thursday night on Vintage Uprising Texas's channel with Daniel from Tacky Is Me. We're going to have a three-way sale. So um, some of these items will be there tonight. And next week I have a sale on Tuesday with Dee from Southern Vintage Picker right here on my channel. So you may see some of this there. This I do not believe will be on the sale but like i mean you can you're always welcome to email me and you can see my email address right there on the screen to ask me about anything you see but yeah you guys know i'm irish so i picked up this little irish plate the reticulated plate now this is really cute because right here this little raised uh, area in between the reticulations I hope that's right is shaped like a tassel and the whole thing makes a star shape. I think that's just beautiful. And it says an Irish spinning wheel. So we have a, a lady spinning. And it's got the, four, the clovers and stuff. So I, I'm pretty sure I will be keeping this. It will be lovely during um, St. Patrick's Day displays and that sort of thing. And I put it on my wall and, you know, that whole thing like that. Oh, I got this there as well. This little hand-painted portrait picture, what do you want to call it? Painting of these beautiful flowers in a vase. It has a beautiful blue velvet border. Now, I'm from Texas, and these look like blue bonnets to me. And I'll tell you something. These would have to be artificial because in Texas you do not pick blue bonnets. It's actually illegal. <laughs> it's our state flower. But I just thought it was a very sweet little painting. I loved the blue velvet border. Professionally done, although its little sticker is gone. So, but it's got its hanger. Yes, I do too. I like having little little pictures that you can throw into something, both in a on an easel in a um, display or vignette, or in a collage on your wall with other paintings. So I picked that little guy up. So that's all I got at the little local thrift store. Then I went on to the Goodwills, and I don't remember which ones came from which Goodwills. So we'll just do them all. So it was 75% off day of the tag color of the week, which was yellow. And this guy happened to be yellow, which is why I picked it up, because they were regularly asking like $4 for it. So it's in fabulous condition look at that there are no cracks or tears or anything it's not even like super dry it's the jimco uh juicer reamer 
Now, this is going to be so beautiful come Halloween. I have a syrup picture that's got an orange top too. This is going to be great with some uh, purple lights in it or orange lights in it come Halloween for Halloween displays. I've actually found two or three things today that I want to use for Halloween displays and this is one of them and I was very happy to get it. I hadn't found any orange top ones that I could afford so yay me. <laughs> Then I found this guy. Now, I don't know how vintage he is, but I don't see many like him. And it may just be me since my kids are kind of grown now. But it also said it was made in the USA. And I feel like most of our little pumpkin jack-o'-lantern guys are, are coming from out of the country these days. So, I don't know. But I liked it because he was the ghost. He also reminds me of the the face on the, the B on, what is it, not Sugar Smacks, but Honeycombs <laughs> cereal. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the autumn. I love it. I love it. Halloween just marks the beginning of all the fun for me. So, hi, Nettie. I hope you're talking about this. I love him, too. So, I picked him up. He hadn't been cleaned up, but he'll be good in a Halloween display. And then the last thing I picked up, <clears throat> excuse me, for a Halloween display is this. Now, I believe this is a jewelry tree. Um, that's what it looks like to me, that or maybe your parrot's supposed to sit on it. I don't know. It's flat up here. It could be. But it looks like someone has painted it and put this orange and, and dark brown and stuff on it. So it looks like a Halloween tree. That's what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to put it with my Halloween displays and make it be a Halloween tree. Maybe put some, some uh, spider webs on it, some spiders, you know, something creepy. Hi, Kat. Thank you for joining. We're doing a haul today in anticipation of my sale with Tammy and Daniel on Thursday. So anyway, yeah. He looks kind of creepy, so this is going to be a Halloween tree for me. Ah. Right. So, since we did Hall we did Easter, we did Halloween, let's do Christmas. I found some really cool, fun Christmas stuff. Oh, wait, when we do Christmas, let's do 4th of July. I'm going to do this careful because I think this is what cut me. I think I, I cut my finger on the edge of some of this, this, this hard old plastic. Look at these. Look, hearts and stars. Oh, man, these are going to be perfect for 4th of July display, whether I make an assemblage or just a vignette. Oh, I am so excited by them. I'm very, very happy. They're all sparkly and beautiful. And even though these are technically Christmas, because they have a Christmas tree on them, these are going to work as Christmas, um, 4th of July decor too. Hi, Joanne. Thank you for coming. We're doing a live haul. So I think these will be spectacular for 4th of July as well. But I think this is the bad guy that cut my finger. So I have to be very careful. Okay, now we'll move to Christmas. Let's see. The easiest Christmas one to show you is the tablecloth I got. It's oval, and I don't find many ovals. I usually find rectangles or a, uh, the square. But this is an oval, but I think somebody made it. I think it was handmade because the seams are not professionally done. These are homemade seams, and they had a little trouble, let me show you, on one of their areas. If you sew, you're going to recognize what the problem is when you see it. Can you see all that? This is a, right here, this is a problem with your bobbin. It just, um, your tension's wrong and it just wads all up. Look at that, right here, yeah, right there. It wads all up and makes knots <laughs> where you're sewing. So I'm gonna have to, uh, when I get my sewing room fixed up in here again, I'm gonna have to take this little piece of seam out and sew it upright. But I'm gonna have a little round table in here and I thought, well, till I find an oval tablecloth, I mean, until I find a round tablecloth, an oval one will work. 
it's bright, it's pretty, it's Christmassy. So, and it didn't cost too much, you know, it's Goodwill. Um, oh, two grab bags. I got two grab bags. Now, okay, look at this bag of reindeer, okay? Now, I got this. Come on out, little guy. I haven't taken these out. Oh, wait, his feet set. I got this because of the reindeer, although there was a bonus in there, and I'll have to show you. Look at this beautiful flopped reindeer. It's got a little bobo -y right there, and I think that's because something was glued on him, but he's got his antlers. And he's big. Look how, look how big this dude is. He's wonderful. Very happy to have him. He's still got his reins on him. And then there are several of these. Oh my gosh, they're all hooked together where they've been pulling a sleigh. I'm going to need a sleigh. Okay, wait, this guy's unhooked. He can be my huckleberry. Here we go. Oh, wait, they're all in different positions. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Look at this. He's shiny all over. He's got spots and he's got decoration. Let me see. But they're, they're all hooked together with this gold wire where they've been pulling a sleigh. So it's hard to show them to you. These guys are standing. This guy... Okay, look, he has just sat down. He, sit, he says enough is enough. I'm, I'm done. I'm sitting. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> He's sitting. He's precious. Okay, so I love them for the deer themselves. They got all their horns and everything. Horns? Their antlers, sorry. They've got all their antlers and everything. I don't see any markings on them. They're all a, uh, they're that thin plastic, you know, with, with the, the varnish over them. So, and then that big flock one. Okay. But when I was in there, I discovered this guy. Look at that little guy. Isn't that the cutest little plastic pixie you've ever seen? <laughs> I, was, he, I, mean, I think he had been glued to that one because he's got some glue on him. <laughs> I'm about to try to get off. But, oh, man, he's going to look good in assemblage, won't he? Look at, look at that face. Side eye and everything. <laughs> I like him. I liked him. Okay, so then there was the other grab bag that I got, and it was full of ornaments, okay? I mean, there are some really pretty homemade ornaments in here and some vintage -y ornaments and things that I am going to use them for package toppers. Now, I bought this because, and this is a nice big old bag, too, but I saw something in there that I really, really wanted. Hold on. Look at this milk glass reindeer with the glass holly on the side, red tail and antlers. Isn't that stunning? Look at that guy. Isn't that fabulous? He wasn't broken or anything. I couldn't believe it. I had to buy the bag just to keep him from getting broken, if nothing else. He's just so beautiful. Yes, at Goodwill. Can you believe it? I never find anything at Goodwill. It, that's not even the very best thing I found. I was so shocked about. Oh, my gosh. I was so shocked. But it, he, anyway, he was in that bag. And I was so happy. But look, these are separate bags. But, golly, you could, you could put him on top of him, couldn't you? And he would just ride along happy. 
Oh my goodness. Anyway, he was so precious. Also in there were some other of these spun glass ornaments. The dove. A carousel horse. And an angel. And I love these little spun glass ornaments. I think they're beautiful. There were some, I don't know how you describe these. Cut work style metal ones? I don't know. Let's see. But I like them. They're the brass ones and you can see all the way through them because they've been the design's been cut out of brass. But there's Santa sleigh and train. And look, these are a little dented. I'll have to work on a carousel. I thought those were so pretty and they, they sparkle so well. A couple of angels. And there was this one that, you know, the kind we used to buy them like in the malls and stuff and you'd have people's names put on them. It says Vicky 1989 on the bottom. But on the back when you look at it, it's got it's like it's signed. Um D U C H I N it's G, D, G period, D-U-C-H-I-N. It's got like a little copyright. It's 1979. So an angel playing a flute. So I thought that was very pretty. And a little cut glass. And this says Spiegel on it. So I think it was like a Spiegel limited edition. It's got the... Uh, you know, the, the cut glass in there to make the angel. It was 1988, I think it says. Very pretty. And then, come on. I could not resist this. Merry Christmas, y'all. I could not, okay? I'd be thrown out of Texas. I'd be thrown out of Texas. Okay. Okay. Is that all the Christmas? That's all the Christmas. Okay, everything else is other than. I found a set of uh, vintage cards, new in their box from Prague. There are souvenir cards. We got, oh, and the, the pictures of, that are in there are of, uh, it's like cathedrals. Found this sweet little ceramic. Is it a ewer? An ewer? An ewer? A pitcher? It looks like the um, oh my word, like the, the the metal ones, the enamel ones. It looks like the enamel ones, but it's ceramic and it's got some lovely crazing on it. So, and I love this shade of green. This will be beautiful in um, to round out a vignette or um, a, something for collaboration, that sort of thing. And it, it's great colors for um, St. Patrick's Day. Now, this little lady just gives me the Yadro feels terribly. It's unmarked, but it totally gives me those feels. I, it, it actually makes me think it's a little pixie in a, a mouse suit. Would you say those are mouse ears? They are, right? It's like they're wearing a little mouse costume. It's got the long tail with, I mean, I guess it could be cat, but I don't know. It's got the round mouse ears. But look, isn't that face well done? And the hair. I mean, right down to the little curled toes, and it's resting on this ball. So, see, I, I haven't, it's, she's got a little puppy dog with her. 
I haven't been able to do a bunch of research on it yet. It's got a couple little, I don't know. Do you see those right there, the marks on the head? But it's not marked anywhere else. But it's got, it's the Yadro colors. Yeah, see, I think it's a mouse too. And it is, and it just, I just loved it. So I've got to check it out. I just, I felt like it was too well done to, to not be, it was worth my time. Let's put it that way. It was worth my time. So, and it's something that I wouldn't mind displaying. Now, on the, the opposite side of the, the, the Yadro spectrum, <laughs> we have a Miller Studio. Oh, it's heavy. It's Miller Studio 1967. It's a pear. This is like I almost got some tomatoes, but they just weren't as pretty as this. They were kind of dull. They were just, they were maybe about this tall. And they wanted too much for this little tomato that was unmarked. It didn't have Miller Studios or anything on it. So, it, aren't those, isn't that, those colors fun? All of that. I think Dee's got one of these up in her kitchen. I'm pretty sure I've seen it in Dee's. Hi, Mickey. How are you? Thank you for coming. So, anyway, pick this guy up. Wish they'd had more to it, but this was the only one they had. The only one. So, you, you take what you can get. This... I'm not thinking it's very old, but I sure did think it was cute. Oh, I'm just so drawn to green glass, whether it glows or not. <laughs> so this lovely turtle had great textural detail for me. was just deep enough that I see it being um, easily your soap dish in your kitchen or your bathroom. Or the little dish that you take your rings off when you are on your watch or whatever when you're going to do the dishes or when you're washing your face or whatever, you're going to get in the shower, you know, little trinket thing. Give you a laugh. Oh, wait, hold up. We must pause for a moment because I've got to read what Joanne is saying. Let's see. Y'all, give you a laugh before I got here. I was on computer tape. Okay. Items got sleepy. Thought it was 4 or 5 in the a.m. instead of p.m. <laughs> oh, now, Joanne, I laugh because sometimes I get so tired that I'll be doing something and I will just almost drop what I'm doing because my head goes like that. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Green turtle. Had to get it because look, can, goodwill people and no chips on him, no nicks around his edges. That doesn't happen very often. I found a box and it's in a foreign language and I hope they're not some sort of religious something and I'm, but they're the little, let me show you, the little candles, and I'm forever picking up some sort of ornament or something that needs these and the smaller ones, the candles in them, especially the ones at the towers that you light them and it spins on the top, you know, like Clark Griswold kind of thing. So I picked up a box of those. Not exciting, I know, but something that, you know, we can use. And I got this, oh, this one didn't come from Goodwill. This came from that other thrift store. And I can tell because they write on their stuff with a red grease pen. And sometimes they do it in bad places. And this time they did it on its sticker, which I'm going to have to try to clean. Part of it, you can just make out, says <clears throat> in, as in made in, Russia. And I think this is recycled glass. That's what it looks like and feels like to me. It has this um, strange textural feel to it but it's a I'm thinking a tea light candle holder but it looks like ice shards or something like that so I thought it was beautiful and I got that 
these two, I don't know how old they are. I haven't, um, I mean, I've looked them up just to see, confirm they were something viable. But um, they're the Chivas, um, and I hope I'm saying that right because I don't drink that brand. What is it? Bourbon? Chivas Regal? Scotch. I don't know. Can't be Scotch. Glasses would be wrong. Anyway, they are the, I call them drunken glasses, but they're <clears throat> leaning or slanted rocks glasses. Look at that. Isn't that weird? You'd have to be careful how you drank out of them, I think. Like, anyway, unusual rocks glasses and stuff sell for me, so I bought those to put on my eBay channel. Let's see. Oh, come here, you. Pardon me, I gotta get this because I want to show you these together. I know they are. Okay, so I've showed you everything else. All right. This was my big find of the day. And Joanne, I need you here because I don't know if I can believe what I've seen on them. These were a set of three. I only found two. The Goodwill lady even came out, left the register, and spent 10 minutes going over all the shelves with me, trying to help me find a third piece to this. So, I know. I don't know. I don't want to clean it up. Okay, Joanne. Franciscan Starburst, correct? Egg cups. I think somebody had these not too long ago on a sale. But anyway, look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Now, the reason I'm so excited is that when I looked on eBay and checked sold comps, these were selling for once one sold for $75 and it had a chip. A couple others sold for $100 a piece, and one even sold for $150. So, is that right? I mean, it, they, I am beyond <laughs> to think that that could be what this is. Um, I mean, the, the pattern is exactly the same. It's got the speckle, the same shape, the same bottoms. There's nothing wrong with them. I am so excited. This is like a major find for me. A goodwill. I can't believe it. So, Etsy bound. I just have to take care of them so nothing happens to them. Oh, I forgot about this guy. I forgot about him. Isn't he cute? Another 4th of July thing. But, yes, so I was very excited. So, that's what I got yesterday. Except for the rooster and hen that I got on the weekend. But that was all I could find. I went to one of... The, when I went to go to the other thrift store, it was I went the back way and I pulled up in front of it. I'm looking for a place to park because it's fixing to pour down rain and it's gone. And it was a major thrift store. I mean, it was it was in a, a, a uh, grocery store. It was huge. So now I got to look and see where they moved it to. I hope it's not just closed. I hope they moved to a new location close to me because. That's where I found my uh, Dorothy Thorpe glasses before. That was a, a, a big deal for me. So I've, I've gotten real lucky lately. I've, I've I got a, a bookend that I found that's supposed to be worth a lot of money. Hi, Maria. I got to get it listed. It's, it's a thing, y'all. I mean, trying to thrift, make videos while you thrift, do hauls, make videos of your hauls, find good stuff, do your videos, do your live sales, list things on your eBay and your Etsy. And when you sell things, you got to, it takes, gosh, I did not realize how much 
you guys do out there in YouTube land and uh, the, the these big sellers they are really really two colors yes the front is blue with the the big one and this one and then the back one is like this sort of green color and it's a, a speckled glaze Joanne's checking out for me, seeing if she can see that they are the same thing. Now they ha both have tags on the bottom. Let me let me take the tag off the bottom. Maybe, but it's up in this hole, so it's hard to get to. Maybe it's it's got their name on it. Oh, fingernails! I can just not get it. Wait, I'm getting it. There's something under it. Please say Franciscan. What does it say? Oh, it's got faint somethings. It says made in USA. That's what they're going to say. They're going to say made in USA on the bottoms of them. Yes, that's what they both say. Made in USA. Yep, speckled. Yep, look at all that speckle up in there. Yes, Franciscan Starburst. I couldn't believe how, when I first saw this a while back, and I'm when I looked these up, I remembered, oh yeah, I saw these before, and I, I remember had think thought then, oh, I'd love to collect that. That's such a beautiful set uh, pattern. And then I looked at what they were charging for that stuff, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I could never, I could never ever collect those up i'd never find all the pieces were so that i could afford it so yeah does anybody have the time in central for me it would help me out so much because christine at side street market is coming on at five four four central five eastern She comes on an hour after me. Oh, okay, I've been on it. I see where I've been on. So like 37 minutes, 40 minutes. Oh, good. We're doing good. Okay. Because Christine will be on um, right after me at 4 Central. And today she has Toledo Antiques as a guest on her channel. So you will want to go there and visit. I have some work to do in here, so I will be there. But I will be listening and try to say hello every now and then but I'll be there and then let's see it's Tuesday cat Calypso antiques I believe you have a sale tonight don't you please tell me if you do I do not want to get it wrong <clears throat> excuse me tomorrow night at 6 30 central 7 30 Eastern Oh, the other ones that you saw are marked Franciscan Earthware. Darn. They sure look just like the ones, maybe other people were wrong and they were just calling them that. Wow. Ah, the disappointment is real, folks. Anyway. You win some, you lose some. They're still pretty. If they're not expensive Franciscan, I could consider keeping them just because they're pretty pretties. Tomorrow night at 6.30 uh, Central, 7.30 Eastern, Tammy at Vintage Uprising Texas will be having a live sale. Thursday night at 8 Central, 9 Eastern, I will be on... Uh, Cat will be on Vintage Digs tonight, and I think it's around 7 or 8. She will she will tell you guys. Oh, it could be a different year. Ooh, fingers. She will let you know. There it is. I see it. I missed it. 7 Eastern. Yay! So, 
I will be there. Oh, that's okay, baby. Don't worry about it. Um, Thursday night with Daniel. Tacky is me. Oh, this is gonna. This is gonna be. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. We've got even got Daniel saying y'all. So my y'all can can counters out there. Thursday night will be a good night for counting y'alls. Oh, tomorrow night, Wednesday night, after Tammy's live sale, Katie, Vintage and Vinyl, is going to be having our friend Christy, Tippy Winks Vintage, on there to do, oh, it's going to be boring. It's just going to be, bam, uranium glass. That will be so much fun, and it will be very beautiful and very inter in energetic because you know Christy is so bouncy and bubbly she's she's the the bubbles that come out of a champagne ball I'll tell you what oh me too cat Daniel and Tammy and I yeah like I said we got him saying y'all so that's gonna be a y'all fast <laughs> the three of us together I just know it's gonna be a lot of laughs a lot of fun so I hope everybody will come out for that and share that info so that that everybody can come see um, Daniel <laughs> with Tammy and I. We try not to give him a hard time. That's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be sweet as pie. No, we're not. You know how we are. <laughs> and then next Tuesday at my regular time at 3 Central, I will have a special guest on my channel. It will be D the Southern Vintage Picker. D is a fellow Texan, so there will definitely be some y'alls going on next Tuesday. So, I think I've got everything off the top of my head covered. Now, if there's anybody in the chat that has a different sale going on that I did not mention because I cannot remember all of them. I'm sorry. I wish I could, but I can't. Please feel free. Feel free. I can't even talk today. Please feel free <laughs> to let us know what you have going on in the chat. There. You know, Tammy will tell you, us Texans, we make up words and... Uh, I've got a new one. It's it's vintage. When something is really good vintage, it's vintage. So I'm hoping these are vintage. So one can only hope. All righty then. I've shown you all my goodies. I've told you um, all my good infos. Oh, you do. I have a new video uploaded. Good vibes. Ooh, okay. Mickey. Mickey. Why am I calling you Mickey? It's Helen. Drifting in the holler. Uh, Helen, I am so sorry. I called you Mickey. And I knew exactly who you were. See, I told you I can't talk today. New England Thrifter is our sweet Miss Helen Booty, so go and check out her new video. Wow. You should have called me on that, Helen. You should have said, uh, Martha, hello, Mickey. I'm not Mickey. And my apologies to Mickey, too. Who? Or was Mickey here and I told Mickey hello and now I'm just freaking myself out? Oh my gosh, I could be doing that. I could be just freaking myself out. It's a possibility. Hi, Beth. Yes, <clears throat> we're going to end this <laughs> before I find my foot in my mouth. Please take a moment to like this video. If you do not mind, I would appreciate it. I believe everybody here is subscribed. But if you are, <laughs> I'm not going to call you anything, Helen. I'm going to call you Ellen. I don't know why it came out that. I watched too much brains out earlier when I was watching. Okay, thumbs up.
subscribe to the channel. I'm doing good. I'm up to like 359 subscribers. I can't believe it. Oh, it's so exciting. And um, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I'm coming on because no telling what I'm liable to say. Say, so, uh, Beth, it looks like it's going to try to rain, but it is windy. I mean, the sun has been out and then gone, but it has been windy, girl. It has been almost 15 miles an hour, gusting all over the place. The, the allergies are going. Oh, you too, baby doll. You too. I don't do that well. <laughs> uh, my daughter would do. Is this one? No, this one. This is the ha. Uh, <laughs> she does this with my son all the time, my grandson. So anyway, I am the world's, you know, I'm like the rock bands that just keep that song going and going and going. You keep going, when is that song going to end? Okay, the song is ending now, guys. Go over, get ready to watch Christine at Side Street Market. I will see you there. We'll talk more there. Oh, okay, Beth, well, thank you for the heads up. We will be on the lookout. Luckily, I don't have anywhere I have to go tonight. I hope it doesn't mess anything up. Bye. Bye to you all. Love you all. Come back and see me again soon. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll see y'all Thursday. Bye, guys.